Do you uh, recall well, ever playing more? Or I was getting more and more. Never had a game moment. Time. Just got to step up and play, Ernie. <laughs> you got to play one well, at a time. It's, it's always yeah. you got to you got to play them one game at a time. Who's ever played oh, more than one question, game at sir. a time? You're playing that uh, one me, game and then you're playing you. the next Double game. Headers, play it. Yeah, I, no, I no, <laughs> no. Actually, I did one time because I was playing on 13, 14 years old. So <laughs> he's the only guy who's played to the bathroom, more than one go game to the other at court a time. And more than one game. I had 50 at a points time. in one half one time. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> you know who I'm back. <laughs> I, I've done that with a kid. I can see that happening. I've done that with a kid. <laughs> And hear the roar here in New Orleans. And here we go with game four of the NBA Finals. We will see a game five, but will we see game six? That's the question. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. You look at the Pelicans. And as we get rolling here, guys, any thoughts about this New Orleans team? Yeah, this one's huge, guys. I mean, every game in the playoffs is big, but this one just feels bigger from an emotional standpoint. You get the victory, you go up three games to one, and you have a virtual stranglehold on this series. Yeah, it's amazing how a game in a series can change things drastically. I mean, they can't afford to lose this one. Not here at home, because it... Send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. So far, so good for them at the offensive end here in the early going. He had a great field goal percentage to start exactly what they were hoping for. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Free throw good, LeBron. What a game for LeBron. He already has 10 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. You know what, though, Clark? It wouldn't be a bad idea going forward to try to let him do a little more damage from beyond the arc. And again, no good by New Orleans. And Shumpert kicks to Williams. Picked by Verizhao. Pass to Shumpert. Verizhao with a screen on Gordon. Shumpert, no good. Well, that defense went from four to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Alvin Gentry. We talked about their standing in this series at this point, and he seemed pleased, but cautiously optimistic. He said, it is nice to be two games away from being called an NBA champion, but we still have work to do if we want to get to that point. A win here, though, and they'll be even closer to hoisting that trophy, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Season is shown on the 2K leaderboard. Fifth on the list, Anthony Davis. 
And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Outside jumper. Kicks it out to LeBron. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Davis. I tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me well, too. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. And that last replay courtesy of Kia. Gordon against Shumpert. Pass to Williams. Love outside. Shot clock at six. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. And 11 points for Kevin Love. You could not diagram a better way to open a quarter. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the lead they've jumped out to already. What a start. Outside Holiday. He kicks it to Davis. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense is going to be there for him. Some changes for New Orleans. Ryan Anderson, he's checked in for Alexis Aginsa. Pondexter comes in for Chris Douglas Roberts. And Tyreek Evans subbed in for Eric Gordon. Cleveland also making some changes. Moscow, he's checked in for Verja. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. And J.R. Smith subbed in for Shepard. Picked by Moscow. Williams kicks to James. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, but it has been pretty ugly so far, no doubt about that. Anderson dishes to Evans. First shot, first fast. He's out of the block fast. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest. But he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Williams against Howard. Shoots it. There's Mozgov. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. To the inside, Evan. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. There's a screen by Williams for three. Smith. The rebound by Anderson. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good-looking shot, well-executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Smith against Evans. Smith on the wing. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. He's checked in for Drew Holiday. Davis sets a screen. Off the pick. That one a little long. Cleveland's gone four or six from long range here early on. LeBron outside. Smith wide open. He fires. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Smith's got his first bucket in this one. Evans passes to Pondexter. Anderson against Thompson. Anderson kicks to Pondexter. 
Dishes to G. Shot clock at five. Here's Evans. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. Yeah, their defense got sliced and, and diced in that game. They just weren't closing down on perimeter shooters. Not nearly quick enough. And then they gave up their fair share of those point-blank shots on the interior as well. Something was clearly a miss for them, Greg. I mean, to let an opponent shoot that high a percentage, you got to take a real long look in the mirror after a game like that. Cleveland leading by 10. With some arc, Williams gets the bucket. Williams has got his first two points of the night. They haven't been able to stifle him defensively here. No, to the contrary. They haven't provided much resistance at all. And in this game, you've got to play both ends of the floor. Evans outside. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Pelican shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Tyree Evans taking two shots. All right, now take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good. Tyreek Evans. Omer Asher. He's checked in for New Orleans. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Jefferson's checked in. And both free throws. Good for Evans. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Evans against Williams. Picked by Mozgov. Jefferson, a screen on Evans. Gets the front of the rim and out. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Evans attacking. And he gets it to go. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Cavaliers lead by eight. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. For me, at a younger age, I was never even killed. We would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. But I think at this point in my career, I kind of stay even. One game shouldn't affect the next game. You know, you go out and play as hard as you can and live with the results. Just another part of the maturation process for LeBron. He's become such the consummate pro. Yeah, he really has been. It's amazing to see the pressure he's dealt with and the way he's handled it with that even heel nature. You know, he's as solid and steady as they come at this point in his career. Nothing phases him, nothing rattles him. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Cavaliers. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And also knocking down the mid-range because they're making good decisions with the basketball. On the floor for Cleveland getting going here in the second. Kyrie Irving and J.R. Smith at the guard set. Thompson down low with Mozgov. And it's Jefferson in at the three. Here's the screen. Evans dishes to G. Four on the clock. 